Hi guys, how are you doing? So Moon's here again um, on this beautiful series with Gaia Baby and this series is all about the fourth trimester, about that postnatal period, about that time after baby has arrived. Now you might see me with a little bump <laughs> or a big bump but this is really targeted at that period um, after baby has come and um, today we're going to work through one of I think everyone's all-time favorite poses, child's pose. So easy, so accessible, um, but there's also some nice things that you can do to make it even more enjoyable and um, restorative. Now there's many benefits of this. It's not only going to give you this time out where you're tuning inwards, where you're um, turning off from this external view for a moment, and as a new mama we can be very much out of ourselves connected in you know the baby and what's to be done and everything that's happening outside of ourselves so it's really nice to just physically and mentally tune inwards and that's why child's pose can be so nice because it does both and it's also really nice for helping you know promote blood flow and healing towards the abdominal area um so it's also this yeah and just creating some time out for you so we will get in position back on my mats. What I would say though is, I always encourage people to grab as many cushions as you can, maybe a blanket. So I'm gonna grab them. And I want to show you then how you can make this even more relaxing and delicious. So coming back to your mat, placing the cushions down in front of you, making a little cushion mountain. And if you can see with me, I've got my sheepskin, but if you've got any knee pain or knee aggravation you can always fold up a blanket nice and long kind of like a long sausage a long thick sausage and place it underneath your knees or for some people it might actually feel nice to place it behind the knees just to take a little pressure off that bent knee position and then from there guys you're giving yourself as much room as you need to and you're simply walking yourself down the knees are wide you might widen them to feel a deeper sensation and your big toes are touching. And then from there, walking yourself all the way down, we'll bring that right ear to the ground and we'll soften it. So letting yourself settle here in this child's pose, feeling the hips dropping back towards the heels. And you might like to close your eyes and just really experience this grounding, earthing, <sighs> tuning inwards process. You're allowing the belly to soften towards the earth. You're allowing your heart space to melt down into these cushions. You might move the elbows wider to bring more softness and relief across the chest and the shoulders. And this is an area in the fourth trimester when you're holding baby, feeding baby, that you can get really tight in that area. So this is beautiful just to let everything melt. And let everything be taken by gravity a little deeper towards the floor. Hearing your breath, moving softly in and out through the body. So make sure you're not gripping with your fingers and even try and relax the skin on your face. Maybe turning onto your left cheek, switching the ears, and making sure that your neck stays nice and balanced, and then settling back in. Really, this pose, the shape, is all about surrendering to the ground below, and you might even, with your fingertips, gently feel the earth. We can be very overwhelmed in the fourth trimester in that early period of being a new mama. And it's really nice to ah, come down to the earth, to physically earth, ground, root down, center ourselves, and feel, feel ourselves coming out of that thinking space in the mind to a more earthy sense of being. Feeling stable, strong, secure, and connected. And the 
chest and out. The hips get heavier. And surrender as much as you can. When you're ready to come out, and this might be a pose you hold for three, maybe five minutes. It might feel comfortable, it might feel delicious just to sink in here and just have this moment to yourself. You can do this on the side of your bed. You can do this on your bed. <laughs> when you've had the time that you want in the shape, you can slowly press into the floor, peeling yourself up. I like to take a moment just turning my palms up and just sitting in stillness before I rise. Allowing the head to return above the heart. Allowing myself to feel the effects of such a simple, deeply restorative, deeply connecting yoga pose. Thank you so much for tuning in and just remember that all of these are really designed for you to be able to do yourself anytime, anywhere. So anytime you need child's pose, it's always there. Thanks so much guys. And as always, if you have any questions, you can always reach out to me and ask. Um, thank you to, for, to Gaia Baby again for facilitating us, creating this lovely gift for all you um, amazing new mamas. <laughs>